today. Hi guys, it's Kelsey. Um, I'm in my kitchen. If you can see, that's my that's my refrigerator. Um, okay. So for this video, I posted earlier that I was gonna make a video and asked you guys what I should talk about. I'm talking kind of quietly because my whole house is sleeping, except for my brother who's in the computer room over there. Um, so I asked you guys what I should talk about. And then, of course, I completely ignored what you said, and I'm going to talk about something else. But first, um, well, two people asked me specifically to talk about them, so Tony asked me to talk about him, so I should talk about Tony because he's a sweet little cupcake and I love him so much. And Naomi said I should talk about her. And Naomi is my precious Australian and my only Australian that I love so much, except for Ellie, of course. And Naomi is the love of my life. And... I'm not going to continue because I'll start crying, but, um, so, it's really hot in here. So, of course, I have to eat something while I make my video, so I waited. It's been, like, it's 10.50 now, so it's been, like, three hours since I ate dinner. So I waited this whole time just so I could eat ice cream in front of you guys. And this is my favorite ice cream. It's Moose Tracks, and if you've never had Moose Tracks, and I feel really bad for you. Um, Moose Tracks is, like, um... Vanilla ice cream with peanut butter cups, swirled with famous moose tracks, fudge. So it's like the best ice cream ever, because I love chocolate and peanut butter. And peanut butter cups. So I have my ice cream scoop, my bowl, my spoon. So I'm just going to get some ice cream right now. Um, and then some other people asked me to talk about some other things. So I can at least touch on those and not be completely rude. <laughs> Someone asked me to talk about Doctor Who. But yeah, okay, so Doctor Who, I just finished all the new episodes today, like 30 minutes ago probably, and I made the mistake of trying to do my makeup before I watched them. Okay, I might as well finish all this ice cream, right? Yeah. Um, I did my makeup before I watched um, the second to last new episode, which is the one with the TARDIS, which I love, that's a really good episode. And then I watched the one where they're like flesh people. That was kind of gross. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm all caught up on Doctor Who. So I can watch the new episode tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. Oh my god, ow. I just hit the ice cream scoop with my tooth. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, oh, there's a lot of ice cream on the top. Um, this probably wasn't the best idea to eat this on camera. Oops. So, I'm talking about Doctor Who, and I might have... I don't remember. So, if you ask me to talk about anything else, I'm just being a dick. Um, so, there's something specific that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Which was, I have, like, six books here. Three that I've already read, and three that I'm reading right now, and I thought I could talk to you about books, because I can be intelligent sometimes, as opposed to, like, TV shows, and things like that. Um, so, I'm going to talk about books today. Okay. So, that could culture you guys, maybe, a little bit. Okay. First, we're going to do books that I've already read and loved. So, I'll do that one last, actually. Okay. First one, I have Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote, which is, if you didn't know, um, Breakfast at Tiffany's is a short story by Truman Capote, who also wrote the book In Cold Blood, and he was Harper Lee's best friend in real life. Harper Lee wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and Truman Capote is, like, one of the most amazing people who have, like, ever lived, ever. And Breakfast at Tiffany's, you can see this is obviously not one short story. This is a collection of short stories, which include Breakfast at Tiffany's and, um, hold on, what other books are in here? Breakfast at Tiffany's, House of Flowers, A Diamond Guitar, and A Christmas Memory, which are all, like, Breakfast at Tiffany's is my favorite short story ever written besides Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been, by Joyce Carol Oates. Um, but Breakfast at Tiffany's is a really good short story, as are the three other stories that are in this book. So, this can be like a summer reading post for you guys, so. Very good. I recommend this 
I'll write all of the book titles and names and authors in the description of the video so you don't have to like remember what I'm saying. And okay, next I have How to Read Literature Like a Professor by Thomas C. Foster, which is, oh you guys are gonna hate me, this is nonfiction, and I had to read it for my AP English class senior year of high school. Um, but it's actually one of the most helpful books I've ever had to read because it teaches you to read a book not just like, oh man, I'm reading a book, but um, like it teaches you to read and understand literature in like, I guess in like a more studious way, but not necessarily like, oh, like I'm reading this for school. Just like in general, when you read a book, it helps you to like catch things quicker. Like the, what is the author trying to say about like symbolism and things like that. Um, so How to Read Literature Like a Professor by Thomas C. Foster. It's kind of big, but since it's nonfiction, you can kind of pick and choose that sounds bad, but you can pick and choose like which chapters you would rather read and things like that. And you can kind of go in and mark it and I don't know. I love a good short, like a good short fiction. I love a good nonfiction book. So that's one book. You guys are going to hate me. <laughs> but the other book I pulled off my shelf was The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, which if you are new to my blog or something maybe, you don't know that this is this book right here is my favorite book of all time. It only has one posted in it right now. It used to have a lot more. <laughs> um, I have oh, it has two in them. Oops, I have three posted. <laughs> two of them are in the side. Um, but if you've never like haven't noticed on my blog, I have like ice cream all over me. If you haven't noticed on my blog, um, this book is actually the source of my URL. The book is about Claire Absher which is my URL, and it's kind of hard to explain, so I would like look it up and do some research, but this is, <laughs> I'm going to sound facetious, but this is the best book ever written, um, just for the sole reason that I can't even understand how someone would come up with this, let alone write this entire novel. Like, that baffles me. Um, so... Also, since I was talking about Doctor Who earlier, Stephen Moffat himself said River Song is based on this book. So if you like Doctor Who, maybe you'd want to check this book out because it's awesome and River Song is awesome and you're awesome, so you should read this book. Okay, I'll stop talking now. And so, take a bite of my ice cream. Next, I have three books, technically two books in a journal that I'm working on right now. Okay. I'm cold. I'm gonna talk to you guys about them and what I think of them so far. So the first one, oh, they're both hardback. First one is Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and The Dawn of the Modern Woman by Sam Wasson. And um, I'm like a fourth of the way through this one, and it's like amazing. <laughs> um, I haven't read it in a few days because I've been watching Doctor Who. But, essentially it's about, um, if you didn't realize, the, it's actually about the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is one of the short story that I love so much, and the movie is very good too, obviously, but it's about the making of the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, Truman Capote who wrote it, Audrey Hepburn who starred in it, and all the people who had a hand in the costuming, all the things that went into making this movie, that, whether you know it or not, changed the face of the modern woman. Um... And in the movie, it kind of came this whole big thing where before Breakfast at Tiffany's was made, the actor and the characters they play were very similar. People were paired together and they would be in movies together. If you've ever seen the movie Singing in the Rain, um, they touch on that in that movie where uh, Lena and Gene Kelly's character <laughs> that I can't remember the name of, they're always in movies together because that's the way it was, what you were in a movie together you were in real life. There wasn't a separation between character and actor in that time period until Breakfast at Tiffany's was made, where Audrey Hepburn was this very virginal woman who wanted to have a husband and have a family, and Holly Golightly, who was the character she played in Breakfast at Tiffany's, was very promiscuous and didn't, it was like the opposite of what Audrey Hepburn used to represent. So it was this whole big scandal, and it goes on to like 
It really is so interesting how this one movie and these people in the movie who made the movie changed the face of fashion and style and what it like what it means to be a woman. And I'm very interested in feminism lately and I just found this book very interesting. And Diana Agron read it, so maybe you'd want to read it too. <laughs> okay. And then I have gosh, this is such a redundant video, but like I'm also reading Catching Fire. I'm a fourth of the way through this one as well. Oh god, that's awful. I need to read more. Um, but honestly, Catching Fire is the second in this series, in the Hunger Games series. So, I'm like, kind of almost done with it. Not really. I'm like a fourth of the way through it. But I'm trying to get them all read before the movies come out and all that kind of stuff. And the movies are actually being filmed in North Carolina, which is a 45 minute drive from where I live right now. So, I kind of want to get up and go see filming. That would be awesome. Oh god. That was a really poor decision to decide to eat ice cream in this video. Oops. Um. Go away. <laughs> and next. <laughs> my brother's being weird. And next, uh, I was going to talk about this journal that I got. Sorry, my brother's talking to me. <laughs> it's called Listography, which is a journal that is just entirely made of lists and I see it like list list professions you'd like to try and have like actor writer zookeeper photographer fashion designer librarian stage manager and it's essentially just a journal of lists where you write down like I try to write like write a few things and a couple lists every day um like this is a list of people you wouldn't mind having sex with and there are some of them are like that oh this one I don't even have anything written in that's dumb um but so if you'd like to check that out, it's just a journal called Listography. This is a very sturdy book. I like it a lot. And it's also, it has listography.com, which you can go and visit for free, obviously. <sighs> That's all the books that I have to talk about. This ice cream is melting fast. <laughs> so if you'd like to go check out those books, this video is so long. Um, I recommend that. And thanks for watching this video. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys if you made it this far. Congratulations, by the way. Um, this summer, I'd like to start trying to write a novel. I was thinking of ideas like how I could write this novel. So maybe my next video can be about ideas for my novel, what you guys think I should write about, what you find interesting, things like that. I love your input, obviously. I'm thinking of making another blog just for drawables and stuff that I write for the novel. <coughs> so if that was is something you guys would be interested in, if it's something you would follow, let me know. And thank you for watching this video, and I hope my suggestions help you in your life and things like that. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!